Hello, my name is Scott Ingram, and today we're going to be working with sites in Active Directory. This is Lab 3 of 2050. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure a site on RWDC1 and RWDC2, and we're going to rename an existing site that's already there, the default name. Uh, second, we're going to stimulate an Active Directory replication, and I will create Active Directory subnet objects in both servers to simulate that. We're going to move the servers into their respective sites and configure site links between these sites. I will also, at the end of this demonstration, prove that replication is occurring. So let's get started. We are in RWDC1 and we are going to open the Active Directory Sites and, and Services console. In the left plane, we're going to right click sites. We're going to click new site. And we're going to write in the name, main site. And then we're going to click the default site link. And we're going to click OK. It tells us that the site main site has been created. But there are going to be some other things we're going to have to do. So we're going to click OK and it is created. We are now in RWDC2. We're going to click Start. We're going to Administrative Tools, Active Directory Sites and Services. And while we're in here, we're going to right click the sites. We're going to click New Site. And in the New Site name, we're going to write in Branch Site. We're going to click the default site link. We're going to click OK. It's going to tell us that there are some more things we need to configure before we have the branch site. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to the left pane and we're going to bring down the sites. We're going to default first site name. We're going to right click that and we're going to click rename. And we're going to rename that as HQ. We're going to press enter. We are now in RWDC01 and we are going to click on, right click on subnets. We're going to click new subnet. The new object subnet dialog box is displayed. We're going to type in this is our uh, subnet that we created earlier. Now we're going to click main site. We'll put that to the main site and click OK. We're back in RWDC2. This time we're going to log into domain 1, student 2. Click enter. We're going to go to Active Directory Sites and Services. This will need uh, special permissions. Click continue. Now we're going to open the sites. Now we're going to click right click subnets. We're going to click new subnet. The new object subnet dialog box is displayed. This is the number, uh, the IP address we created on this RWDC2. We're going to put this to the branch site. We're going to click OK. All right, we're back in RWDC1. And now that we've created our site and our subnet objects, we're going to want to move our computer accounts into their respective sites and configure the site links between those sites. So we're going to click Start. We're going to go to Administrative Tools to Active Directory Sites and Services. Give it a second for it to open. Uh, now we can see that replication has occurred. Headquarters is now on RWDC1, where we originally created on RWDC2. All right, we're going to expand the Headquarters site. And we're going to expand the Servers folder. 
We're going to right click RWDC1 and we're going to click move. The move server dialog box is displayed. We're going to right click main site. Then we're going to click OK. Now in the left pane we're going to expand the main site. And then we're going to expand the server's object. And we see 2050 RWDC1 is there. Now we're going to click RWDC2. We're going to click Move. We're going to click Branch Site. Then we're going to click OK. Now in the left pane we're going to expand the Branch Site. We're going to expand the servers. And we see 2050 RWDC2 is there. All right, for replication to take place between the RWDC1 and the RWDC2 in these separate sites, we need to create a site link object between these sites. So we're back in RWDC2 now, and we're going to go in the left pane and expand the inner site transports. We're going to right click IP and click new site link. We're going to key in here even link. Alright, we're going to go to the sites not in this site. We're going to click main site and click add. Then we're going to get the branch site and click add. And we're going to click OK to save our changes. Now we're going to click the IP object under Intersite Transports. And as you can see, the even link site link is visible now in the right pane. We're going to right click even link and click Properties. We're going to change the value in the Replicate Every Box to 15 minutes and click OK. In a production environment, we'd only create one single site link object between the two sites, but to familiarize ourselves with this process, uh, we're going to create two site link objects. We are in 2050RWDC1 now, and uh, in the Active Directory Sites and Services console. In the left pane, we're going to expand the inner site transports. We're going to take the IP and right click and click New Site Link. In this one, we're going to call this one the Odd Link. In the Sites Not in This Site Link box, we're going to click Main Site and we're going to add him. Then we're going to click Branch Site and we're going to add him. We're going to click OK to save our changes. We're going to click IP to see if that's happened. And here's the odd link and the even link. We're going to right click the odd link and click properties. We're going to change the value in the replicate ever box to 15 minutes. And then we're going to click OK. All right, we've waited our 15 minutes. Let's go in. In RWDC1, we'll click Start. We're going to go through the Administrative Tools to Active Directory Sites and Services. The Even Link and the Odd Link. We're going to close that. Go into RWDC2. We are now in RWDC2. We're going to click Start. We're going to go into Administrative Tools to Active Directory Sites and Services. We're going to see the UAC box and click Continue. Now we're going to click down Sites. We're going to click Inner Site Transports. We're going to click IP and 
There's the even link and the odd link again. We see now that replication has taken place on both of our 2050 RWDC1 and 2050 RWDC2. Uh, so we thank you for watching this demonstration and have a good evening.